first thing go into recovery here advanced restart button is available go into recovery if you are not having that go like press like volume up button and power button simultaneously until it boots into recovery use the latest recovery i'm using a twrp latest one as you can see this is the version of twrp i'm using whenever you go into recovery just select wipe and select advanced wipe and select dalvik cache data and swipe to wipe later that select install and select the storage i am using micro sd card select it and into the download wherever you have downloaded that select that and flash first the firmware here surya global 12.5.4 this is the latest firmware available for poco x3 use that one and again go into install and select the rom zip file pixel os surya takes little bit of time as you can see this is the pixel os version 12 this is the latest build available january 11 2022 as you can see the rom zip file has been flashed and again go into select and let's see this is the magix model latest one will it get flashed okay it get flash that's it and go to wipe again and select format data and type y e s and press this tick button done now go into reboot and select system it will be booted into the latest pixel os and at all for poco x c or nfc whatever you call as you can see guys it's booted into pixel os based on and at all with latest january security patch Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video guys this sampath you watching sampath sanfx youtube channel and this is a poco x3 as you can see guys so this is a poco x3 i have here 6gb 128gb version and this is indian version not nfc but you can try it out in nfc also surya karna global whatever it is and that comes with and at all there's a pixel os available for poco x and with 5th january 2022 there's a latest security patch available and the kernel user is 4.14.190 puff surya kernel has been used this is the latest build available for poco x3 and this is a pixel os and at all based custom rom for poco x and this is the cpu throttling test i have been running from last 5 minutes you can check out here the maximum is 153 and average is 151 and minimum is 145 and there is no cpu thermal throttling detected which is very good in my opinion and even battery life is also going to be very good and if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button and also allow the bell notification all notifications select that and press it and if you like the video give it a like guys and let's begin the video with dialer here you will get mio dialer let's see whether direct video call feature is available i am using jio reliance jio some of the people are constantly commenting jio to jio video call available or not yes it's available and let's see whether call recording option no no call recording option in this google dialer and coming to styles and wallpapers here you get all the and at all wallpapers as you can see all the major wallpapers are pre included also wallpaper colors and basic colors are also included dark theme themed icons app grid from 22 to 5 to 5 is available coming to widgets let's see 
into clock as you can see all the widgets are available in this rom which is not a problem you can select from here if you want to edit further also like this you need to edit this is how the widgets and styles and wallpapers available in this and at all the icons are a little bit big size if you want you can reduce it and uh, magix has been installed i already shown the flashing guide because C cts profile match was not getting passed but even though i have installed magix it's not getting passed here as you can see cts profile match you can make it out using magix manager and i have installed dolby atmos just using magix model whether it is working or not i checked it it's fine actually and coming to camera there where you will get snapdragon camera just ignore it and use the uh, ng cam or any other g cam ports available for poco x3 which is going to be which will going to be work fine on this rom and coming to like geekpen scores here the performance of this rom is nice the single score is 509 and multi score is 1563 which is good for this smartphone but single core could have been like around 560 like that but anyhow it is what it is given now and kernel used here is 4.14.190 puff surya kernel let's check out this is the quick settings panel you get all the basic settings here as you can see you can drag some of the settings from here which is not a problem in my opinion and there is a power button underneath that there is no advanced restart button there is a pixel 12 clean os available for poco x3 the stability is also very good in the app settings you get default apps you can select from here the home application is pixel launcher obviously this is a pixel os and game settings there is game dashboard and do not disturb for games are available in this room special app access is also given you can change here certain categories are given you can check out here and coming to like notifications you get app settings notification history and conversations bubbles feature is also available not a problem with that notifications on lock screens can select here sensitive notifications you can enable or disable from here and some of the settings you can check out here you can enable from here and battery settings you get these kind of battery usage it hasn't been recorded if I restart every time like using magic's model or whatever reason i have to restart it the data has been removed for some reason but i can say it one thing the battery life is very good in this rom and the idle battery time is very low while gaming also you will get around um, five to five and a half hours so this is a 6000 mh battery i'm telling the nfc has 5160 mh it might differ slightly like half an hour or like that but anyhow battery life is good in this rom into the sound and vibration settings you get media volume call volume ring and notification volume alarm volume all those things are given and vibration and haptics you can enable or disable from of the settings given and me sound enhancer this is the direct sound settings are enabled in this room you can select the headphone type and a preset which is not a problem and clear speaker is also pre-installed in this room and coming to display settings you get brightness level adaptive brightness is also working fine let me show you where is the brightness display settings and adaptive brightness let me turn off my light and show you whether it is working or not as you can see guys it's working fine adaptive brightness is also working fine for timing i will disable it out and dark theme is also working fine as you can see this is how the dark theme you will get in this rom this is how the settings panel and this is how the home screen and quick settings panel looks in dark theme it's pitch black condition that's the one thing i always appreciate when it is pitch black condition in dark theme that's i like it and let's see whether okay minimum refresh rate is there and maximum refresh rate is also there i'll keep minimum refresh rate to 50 hertz and maximum to 120 tap to wake anywhere on the screen let's see as you can see tap to wake is also given no face unlock and anything like that i have touched security options let's see this one also fingerprint as you can see it's very very fast no need to worry just this case is little bit bulky enough here that's why as you can see the portion is not enough such that it's not getting along but fingerprint scanner is fast enough in this rom 
and LCD features are also included in this ROM tap to wake everything is working fine and wallpaper and style I already shown you accessibility menu the Android 12 style is also pre-installed as you can see some of the times it will be not given but in this ROM it's given not a problem here you can check out here as you can see brightness up and down you can do it out without using this swipe you can access them and even volume panel also you can access from here plenty of options are given check out in this and switch axis all the under 12 basic settings are included in the accessibility menu even the sound amplifier is also given which is cool thing but i have installed dolby atmos also you can use anything with your choice and location also working fine not a problem here everything is working fine in my opinion and gestures you will get all the gestures like system navigation button gesture navigation there is no button to increase the button it's already increased so no radius to increase but anyhow and swipe to screenshot is given that's not and swipe to screenshot is working fine and there is advanced restart button has been included in this room let's see as you can see into the restart you can directly go into recovery which is not a problem in this room fine things everything basic things are working fine and even there is no echo or anything like that in the earpiece and even loudspeakers are also loud enough not great like MIUI Mint version that I am keeping as a benchmark because in that version MIUI Mint version I am getting proper loudspeakers of this POCO X3 this ROM is not up to that level but still it's loud enough the dual stereo speakers are working fine and this how guys it's the ROM performance and stability everything is working fine not a bad or anything like that we have seen plenty of Android 12 ROMs like Pixel Plus UI 4 version 4 and also Pixel Experience Android 12 and this Pixel OS Android 12 so judge these are the three things like good ROMs available for Poco X and security level 1 certification for DRM information you can use all the OTT applications in HD content which is not a problem and these all the performance stability everything and now without wasting the time let's see the BGMA gameplay here I'm not using any GFX tool or anything like that let's see and as you can see guys this is the graphic settings I have set to smooth plus ultra there is no extreme button I mean you need to use GFX tool or any file transfer method to get those options let's see with smooth plus ultra out of the ROM how is the performance speakers are loud enough while gaming also okay i will come back and this is the performance you get in this rom this is a pixel os and a 12 based custom rom available for poco sc if you like the video give it a like guys and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel i'll hit that subscribe button and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and thank you for watching this video and we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now